In a way, I feel that um, <clears throat> ritual has gone out of our lives. Um, it certainly went out of my life. Um, you know, we, we don't say grace anymore at meals. We, you know, all the sort of little things that we did to acknowledge sort of sacred space seems to have been left because we're too busy. There's other more important things to do, to get on with. <clears throat> So come into a place of silence or quiet, and ritual needs to be authentic. Um, so it can be very simple and very easy. And we're simply going to light a candle, and lighting a candle is very symbolic, um, and it's a very easy thing to do, and it's a very easy thing to do in a relaxed way. Um, now, uh, this candle um, has been. Uh, all around the world, really. Um, uh, it's amazing that it's, it's still got some wax left. So it started off uh, on the, um, in, in France. It went to, um, it went to uh, Hungary. It's been to Ireland. It's been on many places in Europe. It's been to Canada uh, earlier this year as it went around Canada with the sort of Camino, uh, much of what I'm doing in Australia here. And we lit it at all the places along the way. So this candle has been lit sort of all around the world. And uh, I lit it in uh, um, Adelaide at the National Conference. And there um, uh, they produced uh, 12 candles um, from each of the different associations. and lit it off that, so that candle's gone back there. So we light it again here uh, um, now. And um, as we light it, as the light uh, um, uh, is here for the rest of the afternoon, when it comes to the end, the last thing we'll do is we together, we will uh, send out that light by blowing that light out to uh, cover essentially all those pilgrims we will visualize who are walking the Camino right now, many thousands with their backpacks on, going through Europe towards Santiago. And we'll also visualize all those uh, pilgrims who've walked the route before, uh, who uh, covers literally the whole world because every year not less than 180 different nations walk the Camino. So it is truly totally eclectic, and we will also uh, visualize all of humanity uh, as desperately needing light and love and healing. Uh, and indeed, the first place where we lit it in, um, uh, drew those candles back in Adelaide, it was this lovely Aboriginal site called, I think it was called Nunyara, which in, uh, in the Aboriginal language means healing. So it's a lovely sort of healing idea. And uh, just to encourage us all to um, have confidence and a sense of authority to bring uh, ritual back into our lives, mm -hmm. um, ritual can be very simple. I mean, the earliest known ritual we have is where we extended a right hand to show that we have no weapon. So shaking somebody's hand is actually a sign of peace. Uh, so rather than seeing it, you know, as just something we do, uh, sort of a confrontatory thing, is to actually see that we are extending uh, peace, because that's, that's where it originated from. The meaning, if you like, has come, become lost, but that's where it comes from. Goodbye means God bless you. So when we say goodbye to somebody, we are simply saying God bless you. And of course, in Spain, we have adios, uh, which means adios, which means to God. So we can sort of reawaken some of the, um, the import behind the, the rituals that have become so ritualized that they've lost any sort of deeper meaning. But we can bring the meaning back into them. And uh, one little story before we light the candle. We were organizing a little ritual in um, Fintorn because we'd been hired by the Highlands and Islands Development Board to help uh, them uh, keep communities in Scotland together. They knew we had in Fintorn good community skills. That's what it's a community, it's called a community. And uh, you would find little towns where 
the one industry that maybe a whiskey distillery was closing and the, the entire job market would go with that distillery. So our job was to come in and retrain people to, um, to, for other skills so that they could keep the community together. And the group was organizing a ritual to, uh, before going into a very um, traditional Episcopalian village. And I was a little bit concerned about, you know, being part of a ritual without the, if you like, the permission of the villagers. And I happened to be in town, a great mentor of mine, a wonderful man called David Spangler, um, who's written a wonderful book called The Art of Blessing, which he says in there that actually not only do we, ha do we have authority to bless each other, it's what we came to do. It's actually our duty. We have a duty to offer blessing. And I told him the story, and he said to me, oh, and then a smile on his face, he said, oh, John, uh, you must understand that nobody needs permission to offer love. If our intention in lighting this candle, or in any ritual that we do, is to offer more love, to create more love in the world, then we have permission and authority from the very highest authority that there is. And we need nobody else's permission to do that. So let's light the candle, and then at the end we will uh, have a little a moment pause when we blow the light out. Well, well done. done, thank you. Well done. Right. Now, do we, we hand this, who's going to light the Glenella candle from this candle? Maria. So we'll put that there so we can all see it. And then I think you possibly bring that candle down to that one, might be the easiest way. <laughs> I'm a man, my pen threshold is, is uh, not as good as somebody else's. It's, it is lit. Together? Yes. Oh, wonderful. It is lit. Thank you. So let's just take a pause, just for a few moments, and uh, still ourselves. What a lovely bell. <laughs> I was rather hoping that the phone would ring or to be some <laughs> wonderful sort of coincidental <laughs> meaning for the train the would suddenly go yes. by. Police siren. The police siren. <laughs> yes. But we, we had to do it our, manufactured ourselves. But, you know, silence is such a wonderful thing. You know, we, we don't have enough silence in our lives. Mm -hmm. And really it's in the quiet and the silence that um, often that insights really come to us. Um, in our busy minds, uh, it's very difficult for those unseen helpers to help us when we're so active and busy you know, on important affairs of state. Busy there. Can we, shall we, shall we blow out yes. the Because we'll, And then other people can go for the train or whatever. Yeah. Can we do that now? Yes. So uh, we've two candles to blow out. So if we would all like to, to get up and now we, as we, as we, as we blow this out, remember what we're doing. We're, we're sending out the, the light and the love that we've created here this afternoon, this great sense of, of family and the uh, uh, great sort of bond and sense of connection that we've developed here. And we're sending that out to a world that's hungry for it uh, because the world is almost <laughs> desperate now to have a, a sense of a bigger purpose and functioning and, and this, this will help all those pilgrims around walking today, all the pilgrims that have walked uh, before and all the pilgrims in the future and indeed let's picture the whole of humanity. So take a deep breath in and when you're ready try and blow that light out and see it encompassing the whole planet. And again, take in a breath, come on again. It, oh and another one, <laughs> and another one. And, <laughs> and again, take in the deep breath, deep breath. Thank you, everybody. Before we, we leave, um, John, we'd really love to present you. 
I know you didn't get to walk with us, and we did have a special shell oh. with Blue Mountains Camino 2019. Oh, so it Thank is a memento you. for you to take home. Thank you, you so much. You walked today, so you can Oh, through. I've got eyes <laughs> of And you have your own, very own collection. Oh, shell lovely. Thank you very much. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's lovely. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed.